What is up, Gamer Army? This is Aubrey back for another exciting episode of Psycho Gamer. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about, well, my favorite topic, arcade machines. Now we're not talking about the big suckers, we're talking about some of the small guys. So there's a game that was just recently announced that a company called numskull.com is trying to release. Stay tuned. Hit that like, subscribe, and post notifications. And stay tuned, because this is going to be interesting. Welcome back once again. Like I said, we are going to be talking about a small arcade game that numskull.com is trying to get funding for releasing. They're trying to get funding by the end of September to be able to release this game. The game is called Polybius. Polybius was a game that has a very interesting background of being released back in the 80s, but causing some sort of mind-altering states, which meant that the FBI or the CIA supposedly went to all these arcade and pulled all of them out of the arcades because they thought they were brainwashing people into spying for other countries or to kill people or things like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and switch over into my main computer. We're going to take a look at the Kickstarter for this particular company and see if maybe they'll be able to get the funding to release this particular game. Now I have seen little clips online of what the game looked like which is kind of interesting. It made me kind of scratch my head, be like, okay, what is this kind of game about? I really didn't understand it. But we're going to take a look at this video. It's going to be about three or four, maybe five minutes long. And then we're going to discuss it in just a moment. Let's switch on over now. All right, this is their Kickstarter, which I am going to post that down below. So if you guys feel you want to actually donate for this game to be released, then by all means, donate away. So, Polybius, Quarter Scale Arcade Cab. They call it the, their quarter games more than anything else. So, Polybius is a new exciting cabinet from Numskull Designs and some must-have for any retro gaming fan and arcade collector. I love video games. Duh. So, having something that had very limited run that people think is just a myth of actually being out there is really really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and blow this video up here we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this video it was an arcade game feared by many gameplay supposedly produced intense psychoactive effects in the player it disappeared without a trace a month after its 1981 release help, help us, us. I honestly think without Kickstarter, you could never get products like Polybius off the ground. Polybius is like a, it's like a giant in joke that only the gaming community understand. The general public, it, it's, it's completely over the head. So to bring out a product like Polybius needs forums like Kickstarter to see the light of day. Polybius is Retro Gaming's biggest urban legend, but if you're watching this, you probably already know that. Rumoured to be an addictive arcade game, it appeared first in the early 80s and allegedly disappeared without a trace. The Polybius is still commonly talked about today, and the story has been covered in news headlines, broadcasts, and countless YouTube video essays. It's a story that really captivated minds, leading to the development of incredible pieces of fiction, and its presence can still be felt today. The legend has become a part of gaming history. We want to bring our own version of Polybius to quarter arcade so that this piece of arcade history can be represented within the collections of any retro enthusiast. If you aren't familiar with quarter arcades, they are a line of quarter scale, fully playable arcade replicas. Emphasis is put on creating fully accurate, scaled down, high quality replicas of classic arcade cabinets, and this same treatment is exactly what we want to apply to Polybius. While the cabinet may not have existed, we would like to create our own version of it in a way that fits in with our pre-existing line and does the legend justice.
Justice. We want it to be a talking point for any collector's game room. We really wanted to make a Polybius Border Arcade. We just thought it was going to look so cool next to the other machines. But because it doesn't have a working game like the rest of the Quarter Arcades, we were like, okay, what else can we do with it? And we also were working on doing a USB hub. Because all the arcades, as the range has got bigger and bigger, we were very conscious of all the cables running through, and that's a lot of plugs to put into. So, okay. Let's take the Polybius Quarter Arcade and the USB idea and combine them together to have the Polybius USB hub within there. The cabinet itself has been developed using images available in the public domain, playing up to and adding an aesthetic based on that of the legend. We feature Polybius's rumoured aesthetic, a black outer shell, a cold and imposing coin slot, a minimalist control scheme and of course a big bold Polybius logo, incorporating these vibrant blue stripes into our own take on the design. It also comes packaged in this black box mysterious packaging, playing up to the story behind the conspiracy, making this feel like a really top secret suspicious item. As the Polybius arcade game doesn't exist, Polybius doesn't run a video game like the other arcade cabinets do. It does however play up to the mysterious nature of the conspiracy, playing trippy audio and visual effects. The Polybius Quarter Arcade system instead acts as the perfect complementary item to the rest of the Quarter Arcades in the collection. It features a whopping 10 USB slots available for you to use across the full cabinet lineup and many other electrical items. We're aiming to make this a real collector's item and we're offering a sliding scale of rewards, ranging from pin badges to snapback caps. Check the rest of the project page out for more information about how many of each of these are available. Hello, I'm internet man Stuart Ashen and I've been a big fan of the Polybius legend for years, to the extent that I recently produced an entire film that heavily features it. I think it has all the hallmarks of a great urban legend, which is a tiny little kernel of truth that's been partially misunderstood and then added to and stretched and then people have put their own twist in it until it turns into this sort of rich tapestry of a tale. A bit like when a tiny piece of grit is turned into a pearl by an oyster. Actually that's a terrible analogy, but anyway, I really want a replica little Polybius cabinet. So please, do think about helping us in this task, because they won't let me keep this one. Apparently it's a prototype or something. There's no guarantee of this being picked up by retailers, and considering the costs involved in production, it's not something we could justify producing without funding behind us. Given that the community has largely kept the name, mythos and legend of Polybius alive, we thought that this style of campaign would be the best way to All ensure... Right, we're going to go ahead and end the video and there, or like right at the very end anyway. So they aren't quite at their goal yet, but it is coming. Now, on to the myth of this particular game. You know, there's the story they're talking about here. It's an addictive arcade game. It first appeared in the early 80s and allegedly disappeared without a trace. Speculation surrounded the game. Many believed it was a tool used by the U.S. government to test and recruit potential soldiers. Don't know if that's going to be legitimate or true. Again, it is an urban legend on what happened with this particular arcade machine. It's still commonly talked about today. Stories been covered in news headlines, broadcasts, and countless YouTube video essays. Look at games or movies like The Last Starfighter, the book by Ernest Klein, Armada, which I have not read yet, but I have heard about it. You can see games or TV shows such as The Simpsons showcasing Polybius. So it it is an urban legend, it is a myth, it was released, but people really don't know about the game. They've never played it. I myself have never played it, but looking at what this company, Quarter Arcades, has actually done in terms of releasing particular arcade machines, such as Pac-Man. Let's just click over to their website before we actually go any farther here. These are some of their quarter arcade lineups they have. They have Pac-Man, Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, Galaxian, Dig Dug, Track and Field, yes. Track and Field. How are you going to play Track and Field? You're going to beat the snot out of the buttons on there. Bubble Bobble. Oh, that is a favorite. That's always a favorite. And they also have Space Invaders. Space Invaders, always a good, good game to play, especially if you just want to kill some time. Now you can tell by how this girl looks, how big these particular arcade cabinets are. They look like they're about a good foot and a half, two feet tall. Maybe, 
I think it said 17 inches, I think is what I, I remember reading on these things. Uh, but this particular one's going to have a USB power hub that's going to be built into it. They are building this particular proto prototype based off of pictures they've seen around the internet. So is this going to be a game that you're going to want to play? It could be. It could be a game you might want to play. What is the game going to be about? Well, like I said, you're going to have to look around for footage of what the game may look like. I know I found a couple videos on YouTube, but for me it was kind of a confusing looking game. Uh, this company tries to go all out with how their cabinets actually look. They try to give it the most realistic look, built with wood, built with things that would have been in the arcades to begin with. You got your coin slot right here, which looks like it should. You got your logo, which is going to be in a backlit marquee. Yes, as small as they are, they do have backlit marquees when it comes to these particular items. You got 10 USB slots, and it's just really cool. I think for nostalgia's sake, for collector's sake, this is going to be something that you guys are going to want to fund and actually get one. So the fact that the game technically doesn't exist from what they're saying, I guess they're kind of making a whole new arcade machine from scratch. So, so is Polybius going to be a game that you're going to want to get? Maybe. We'll have to see if they actually get the funding to make this particular arcade cabinet. I hope they do. Because I'd like to see something fresh that technically was out, but technically wasn't out. The truth is out there. Hmm. But that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. I hope you're as excited for Polybius as I am. Make sure you go out there and donate to their Kickstarter so they might be able to actually get this particular machine up and running. But until next time, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you coming. Game on.